scientists of the European research project Smart Hand have created one of the most sophisticated artificial hands in the world. During a workshop in Lund, Sweden, they fitted a robotic hand on a prosthesis which includes four motors and 40 sensors. This prototype restores feeling to the amputee when using an artificial hand. I have to use some muscles which I have not activated for years. That is very hard. But if you are able to control a movement, it's great. It's a feeling that I've not had for a long time. When I grab something tightly, then I can feel it in the fingertips, which is strange as I don't have them anymore. It's amazing. One partner in this research project is the Department of Hand Surgery at the Malmö University Hospital. 30 years in the operating theater has made Jorun Lundborg an expert on how the brain is controlling the hand movements. We know that by um, placing sensors, pressure sensors for instance, in the fingers of the artificial hand, that pressure signal can be transposed to specific areas of the skin of the remaining hand. And if you find the right spots to stimulate, we know that also the correct areas of the brain cortex will be activated. In other words, if you put pressure on the index finger of the artificial hand, the index finger area of your brain will be activated. During the workshop, scientists are testing their latest prototype. It includes a sensory feedback system within the robotic hand. But this prototype is only the first step to an even more visionary artificial hand. Most cables and electric motors currently present in the device are far too bulky for industrial use and need to be replaced. What is needed is an implantable processing unit, implantable power source and implantable trans-skin communication method. Nanotechnology will play a vital part in these further developments. The neural interface of the future could be implanted inside the arm, which then can connect to the peripheral interface. The internal interface can then receive and measure signals coming directly from the brain, and at the same time it can send sensory signals to the brain. It will transmit the signals as radio waves to the external prosthesis, which can then be controlled and register sensation. For Robin Afakistam, it's a vision that would mean a huge difference in his daily life. But already today he's thrilled by the way he can control and feel the new robotic hand. This test shows that the vision is no longer a fantasy.